Hi everybody, just want to show you um, the purse that I made for um, Bona's What's in Your Vintage Purse Swap. And um, this is my purse that I made for my, for my swap partner, um, Doreen, from My Bedazzled Treasures. And I've just about finished it up and I'm getting ready to box it up and send it out to her so I thought I'd show you a quick little look at it. Um, it just started out as a wooden um, purse from Michaels that I crackled to distress it out and I noticed in a lot of her videos that she's really into Paris so I papered the front with the Paris paper and I ran this little lace with the pearls all the way around the whole thing and I did these little bows this way in case she wants to stand it up like this and her favorite colors were brown and pink so I did these little brown flowers from I Am Roses and these little pink bling and white bling flowers up on the top. And I also ran this trim around the sides. And then if you turn it this way, I did some pink bows back here in case she wants to lay it down like this and open it up to show everything that's in it. So now when you open it up, this is what I did with the inside. I just put some of this paper on the back with the pretty little flowers, kind of shabby chic looking paper. I ran some pearls along it and did this little lace for a pocket. And I put this pretty little brooch here. And this was a, a ring pin that I found that I wrapped some pink ribbon around and did this little pink bow on. And then I did a little um, strand of pearls for her. I put it on elastic and did a little clasp so she could actually wear that if she wanted to or put it on her mannequin that she has in her craft room that I noticed. And then I had this pretty little flower that I put in there for her. And I think, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. I think I might put her right up top there. I haven't glued her down yet because I'm still trying to decide. But that's the top part. And I ran this, this pretty ribbon with these flowers along this lace too as well. And then down inside of here, this is just a compact mirror that I altered. I put the Paris charm on there, and then I just ran some flowers around it. And it's just a mirror when you open it up. And then I did these little dress forms for her. With, hung the little Paris and the fleur-de-lis, and I had the fleur-de-lis ribbon that I tied up here. And I just did some lace and some pink ribbon and some brown ribbon. But I did all those for her so she could put pictures or whatever she wants on them. And then I had this antique spool of thread, some 15 cents Coates and Clark. And I just ran some lace around it and a little flower, a little piece of feather stuck on there. I just did a little um, corsage pin in there. And then I found these combs, so I just um, put some paper flowers on there. And then these are the fabric flowers, and I glimmer misted those so that they weren't so stark white. So you can see that. And then these are vintage paper bags that I rolled up, and I wanted to make them look decorative. So I just wrapped some lace around so she can slide this off if she wanted to, to get those out so she can use them. And this pretty little cream flower and just some little lace. And then I just did this little clothes pin, and I just put some flowers on there for her. Use it however she wants. Well, in the bottom of the box, um, I just ran this feather trim around just because I thought it was kind of fun, fun and flary, kind of flare feeling. Well, I also had made her these tags to go in there, but they didn't fit, so I'm just going to send them to her. This is a tag that I made, um, and the paper in the background is just some postcard paper, and this is just a picture of the Eiffel Tower, and then the trim that I did was the fleur de lis trim. So I did that one to send to her. And I know that she really likes the dress forms and stuff, so I had this picture and I put it on a tag and ran this real pretty lace trim around with the pearls. And then this is some old vintage lace that I wrapped around there and just glued these little pearls down onto it because I wanted to embellish it a little bit more and just did this little 
flower here and the sleeve. And then this was actually cream um, antique lace that I glimmer misted so that it would kind of match the dress and the flower that I used. Um, but there's a picture of that. And it won't fit in her purse, so I'm just going to send it so that she can have it if she likes it. And then I also altered this little bottle for her. And uh, it says Paris on it, and it's got these pretty little flowers. And I just um, wrapped some lace around the top of it, did a little piece of bling, and put a little thing on the top of the cork stopper for her. But... Yeah, I got it all done, and I'm getting ready to send it out to her. I hope she likes it, and I hope you liked it, too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.